Let's have a look at an example of using the Smart Complete feature on your forms. In this video, I will be showing you how to activate this feature so that the visitors who are filling out a form on your website will not be required to type in their details each time they are submitting a form. Now you can use this feature in multiple situations. You can use it on your contact forms, on quiz opt-in gates, for newsletter registrations and many more. These are just several examples of how you can get the most out of this feature. Now in this example, I will be using just a regular landing page on which I will be adding a lead generation form right here at the bottom of the page. Let me just drag and drop it here, pick a template and maybe let's just change the color so that it's easier to see. Okay. So as you can see, I've picked a form that has just two form fields and I'm going to be customizing these two. And I'm also going to add a new additional form field just to show you the process in case you plan on using this smart complete feature on multiple types of form fields. Now, the first step when setting up the lead generation form is connecting it through the API to an autoresponder service. So by default, this form is not connected. So if this form is not connected through the API to your autoresponder, then it will not collect leads on your behalf. We have resources in our knowledge base that go into more detail about how to set this up. I'm just going to quickly go through the process in this video as well, but feel free to check out those resources if you want to learn more about this topic. So let's click here on add connection and select one of the available API connections that are already set up on my website, make the necessary configurations. And now as easy as that, I've managed to connect my form through the API to my active campaign account. Now, just as I've mentioned, this lead generation form comes with two form fields, and I'm going to add one more using the add new button from here. And in this example, I'm going to be using the text field type because I want to add a nickname form field. Let's just add here the same information in the placeholder field to make sure it's listed here, just like the email and name are listed and visible in the form fields. And this is pretty much the information that I want to have in my form. And now I'm going to show you how easily you can activate the smart complete feature so that these three fields are automatically filled in with the information from the user data profile. So my form is already connected to an autoresponder. I've made sure that my fields are added and customized. And now let me show you how to activate the smart complete feature. So let's start with the field name. So for that, let's click on the pencil icon and then expand this autofill settings section. Now, the first drop down list is the primary source of the data that will be added here. And in this case, we will be using the user data. And then in the following drop down list, I'm going to select WordPress user public name. You can also click on the first name or on the last name. But of course, depending on what you choose here, this field will be auto populated just with the first or the last name of the user. Now let's do the same for the email. Click once more on auto field settings, user data. And then here, let's pick WordPress user email. And lastly, for the nickname, for this text field that I've set up here, let's open once more the autofill settings. And this time I'm going to select WordPress user nickname. So all these have to be set up in the WordPress user profile of the user. Let me show you quickly how this looks like in my case. So you can get to the user profile section from here in the left sidebar of your WordPress admin dashboard. And now let me just scroll down a bit. And this is the section that I want to show you. So I have here my first name already set up, then the last name. I have also a nickname added. And then here in the display name publicly as I have this selected, which has both the first name and the last name. Now let's just save this page and the changes that we've made so far. And I'm going to preview the page to show you how this form will fill each time with the corresponding information. So as you can see, the form already has the information just as I've set it up in my WordPress user profile. And this will be available for all the users of your website. So this comes in handy whenever you have multiple forms on your website and you want to give your users the possibility to submit the forms without manually typing in their details with each form submission. As always, I hope you found this quick guide useful and easy to follow.